Hello Tubesters, it's me Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's the build vlog number two on this, the uh, T28 uh, Russian tank from World War II, uh, the later version, so I'm led to believe. Uh, I've been thoroughly enjoying this, again, you know, a bit like the Starfighter that preceded it, I've only been doing bits and pieces. Um, learning as I go really, uh, learning from a lot of the guys on, on the doing the videos themselves. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's you know it's a little tank. Uh, it's just something I can put on the desk and, and you know just just try and learn airbrushing techniques, how things actually stick together without falling off, which believe me happens to me all the time. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's been an enjoyable little project and still is because I obviously haven't finished it yet. <laughs> but um, if you if you were uh, caught my uh, vid last video on the on the Russian plastic figures that was going to be the crew for this tank, uh, the idea is it's going to go on a small diorama, and the the tank will be either having a bit of routine maintenance or it may be even broke down. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Um, I'm probably going to have it breaking down on the way to the front, and uh, the crew are obviously waiting for a tow. I'm going to maybe put some tow cables out the front. Uh, but we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, so at the moment it's just sticking the, the, the tank together. Um, I've done some uh, painting on it but no weathering or anything yet. Uh, <laughs> still got a few more bits to stick on it yet and then I've got the enjoyment of that. You just know I'm going to stuff all that up. <laughs> it's got to be at some point where I am going to wreck what I've done because I've had to go back a few times and and whether the paint or, or the you know the gluing process I've done something something wrong. <laughs> So, uh, if you want to join me down at the the bench, we'll have a quick look at this uh, this tank, the progress I've made on it, uh, the points that I I just want to show a few things uh, that either I've done or I think um, I might have done wrong, and uh, and then the next time you see her, she should all be uh, stuck together and weathered, uh, more or less ready for a diorama. I've just got to find some crew now because <laughs> I'm not happy with those. Uh, so. Uh, Join me at the bench guys and we'll have a quick look at this. Right guys, thanks for, for joining me down here at the workbench. Let's have a look at this tank. In fact, let Gav actually put his glasses on and I might be able to look at the tank as well. That's better. Right. I'll tell you what, age is a killer guys. Right, here is the, uh, the tank so far. Um, let me get my usual pointy stick. Now in the instructions they tell you to put the the tracks on first. Now, if you've watched my other build video or the review on or unboxing of the kit, you'll know these tracks are all one piece. So these wheels are all on, um, and you do have to do stick some, I believe some bats some wheels on at the back, which I've done. Uh, and these um, you have to stick you have to stick the back parts of them. Of the, but the, the actual front bit here is all actually moulded as one piece. And these wheels at the top. Now they go into which I doubt we're going to see. Uh, there's some some positioning lugs that you've got to lug, push them into. Well, what I found was you I couldn't do it uh, because the tracks themselves were but right up to the um, to the to the bottom of the, the 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 tank, you know, to the side. So you, to to get those to push into the to the locating lugs, you'd literally be bending them under themselves and they're probably just going to snap off so I've had to leave those floating uh, because we've got this armoured side here uh, I don't think that's going to be that much of a problem and the tracks uh, are you know the can do they stick out slightly only just if they do um, I put these in dry uh, and then run some glue in them afterwards the one th thing I had was Having which I used to remember as a kid, getting the the tracks not like pulling inwards, uh, and luckily I actually used one of these bottle tops, one of these type of bottle tops I put my painting on. And it just fitted in here and it braced it while it was drying. And it's actually not come out too bad. When I'm looking at it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things missing yet. Um, uh, there's this road wheels to go on. There's a big back cover um, to sit on top. You won't see that at all as far as I know. I suppose they put that in there in case you wanted to cut the, the louver doors open maybe, I suppose. 
uh, but I can't see how you're going to see that. Uh, but there's some some big doors go over the over the top. Uh, there's a exhaust that's got to run along the back here. Um, there's little bits, you know, towing eyes. Um, there's um, some lights I've got to go on here. I'm not going to destroy the lights. I didn't want the tank to look like it's been had the hell beaten out of it. Um, I painted the the tracks. I painted those um, by hand. I didn't want to put um, uh, metallics through um, my airbrush. And the only drawback I found with these are again, it's probably just me being a noob. Um, this is semi first tank in about thirty odd years. Uh, is I'm not good enough, and I've got a 0.5 airbrush, and to paint these white. I mean, they are going to be. I'm going to have to put some white over these. Uh, although I'm not going to put a load on because I would have thought the wheels would have. You to try and get some whitewash to actually stick um, when they're getting hammered along like they do. I, I think that'd be um, there wouldn't be that much on, but there will be some whitening going on those. But I'm going to have to do that by hand because I'd have either oversprayed the tracks or oversprayed the wheels, and I'm just not that good enough to uh, to have that type of airbrush control. So that's why you're seeing white uh, green wheels at the moment. Uh, I've done the hairbrush technique, hairbrush. <laughs> I think that might be hairspray. The hairspray technique, uh, which was quite therapeutic, <laughs> chipping away. Um, I didn't want it to look like it was in the end as a, a whitey grey green camouflage, you know. So I don't know if that looks too much or if it's not enough, you know, if there are bigger chunks. I really thought I would have thought it would have been down to each individual tank, what weather, you know, as in, you know, what weather it was encountering, encountering and things like that. These are fuel tanks, I believe, at the back here. They're, they're pre-moulded on. Uh, I've put the engine in, as you can see. Uh, made some really newbie mistakes again. I should have raised, uh, although I've put, I made a little cradle for the engine to sit on, it wasn't enough. And I was in a rush sticking this together without thinking, as usual. I, I'm just not a lateral thinker, guys. <laughs> Everything I do has to be um, just trial and error. You know, lots of error. My paintings improved and improved and improved, but it's only because I keep going at it. I just, I'm just not one of these people that either things come to them easy, or they can think themselves out of situations. <laughs> I get into situations real good, but thinking out of them is is not one of them. Uh, so yeah, the the engine, as, as you've probably, if you have seen my other video, I scratch built an engine for it, um, and what I didn't do was put any type of bulkhead across. I don't think it's going to be too bad because it's, I'm going to put the turret on in a minute um, and you, you can't see a lot but the engine does sit down and if you if you really cared to look obviously you're just looking into a ca open cavernous bit there which is a bit annoying. Um, I, I, I based this extremely roughly on a T34 engine because I only saw one bl bl blurry photograph of the aircraft engine that's um, in this, this normally so it was really just to try and get some look of a, of a, a tank engine. Um, and it would the t34 had uh, big uh, radiators either side uh, slanting down and they would have probably bulked that out a bit more but you know as I say these are all learning exp experiences for me um, so yeah that's the that's the basic hole I'm, I'm really chuffed with how the the tracks aren't too, you know, splayed out, which is that they were looking that way. It's a beautiful. When I say it's, I know I've just said about, you know, you can't locate these. That could just be again me being a noob. It could just be me doing something wrong. But I really can't see how you could have got that. That they were missing by a few mil to even get them in the locating holes, um, and to push them, you were just pushing the track against the body of the tank. I can't see how. I could have, you know, got that any better. Um, but beautiful for, for again, either for people looking for a quick build or people like me just learning. Um, you know, this whole system of tracks, it, it's it's a it's a really great way of of you know going together, and it, and they did locate really nicely, and they have these little like in the real things, the glue's taking a bit of that off, but you're not going to see that. I might paint it over. That's why I've left this. This is basic green. Um, I didn't have any Russian green. Um, I put uh, Luftwaffe reflective green on as a base coat, and then um, 
mixed uh, uh, some Africa green up, Africa core green up, because uh, I thought, well, most of it's going to be under whitewash anyway. I didn't want a startling bright whitewash, so I painted it with um, silver grey. These are all Vallejo uh, colours, silver grey and um, German tank uniform white. Uh, and that's as far as I want it because because I you know as far as I'm concerned most whether it's white wash white paint whatever but it's going to pick all the grime up of the field fairly quickly and I have got to do some some washes and things with this anyway so let's pop let's pop the oh, let's just have a quick look at the turret as you can see I, I put the on the last video um, I've got um, bits of uh, just bits of spare plastic card and sprue in there just to to give a, an effect if you did see down there it's got to be painted out a bit these I believe would be white anyway but I've got to do a different white so they're not just looking the same whitewash colour uh, and that needs a bit more underneath uh, the machine guns have obviously got to be painted I've got a mounted machine gun on this mount yet let's just pop him in the paint's just made it a bit tight there we go uh, obviously when I do this um, the, the, the turret's going to be off to one side um, so I've got the deck catch which is this I cut that out so all this I've cut out myself again just learning really I'm you know it's uh, it's all a learning curve for me the only thing things I, I've cheated on slightly in the cleanup there's some sink marks underneath this top deck in a second let me just Seat this down because you know they're going to fall out. Oh, hang on a second, just leave it off. Hold that one on. Um, oh, you can't even see it, which is good. Uh, underneath this uh, mud guards here, um, where the track is, there are some sink marks, but I hadn't got uh, like a, an epoxy putty to to fill and sand, and so I had to let those go. But looking at them now, I mean, there's nothing there, is there? So. Um, but there are there are turrets. The one again I've cut open, and that's I've made this out of a pop can, two pieces of pop can, and um, he'll be mounted there, folding forward. I shall have a crew member. Well, I was originally going to have a crew member sat there, but as you know, these plastic figures haven't really turned out what I wanted. Uh, I've cut out the 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 thing now. I was going to have a crew member, a driver in there with his little head showing, and of course, because I've stuck everything down because I couldn't wait anything longer for any different figures. Um, now it's going to be an empty hole there which is a shame uh, but I built this little viewing block a uh, little handle there for moving the block up and down and that will be folded out on there this turret doesn't want to sit down today I think it's all fairly just really push something off there there we go and then the machine gun turret doesn't want to play. But you get the idea. So, um, yeah, you know, I didn't want to go over the top. Let's see if we can get down a bit more. I didn't want to go over the top whether on the on the chipping. Um, and I think she's white enough, if that makes sense. I've tried to chip in areas where I think you might see a bit of scuffing and, you know, uh, and obviously the back plate that goes over the fan here, um, that's already being chipped, it's still on the sprue and I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to stick everything down tonight that uh, is left on the tank. Um, and then uh, it's, I've, I'm already looking out for some more crew members. Um, this is a, a, saw, a saw down here so I might put the wooden handles at the very end. So that's like a reciprocal saw, you know, cross cut saw I should say. Um, and I could see them. I could see them quite easily, just what, over spraying all the tools and everything as the, as you were spraying it. But I'll probably make the tools uh, wooden handles and metal only because I would have thought in winter conditions they were using the, the shovels and that quite a bit. So guys, I think that's all I can tell you on this uh, build, block, build vlog at number two. Um, I appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. Uh, the next one, as I say, everything's going to be stuck down, and then I will go. I won't show the last bit stuck on. I think you know you'll get the idea of that. Uh, and then it's on to some weathering. So I gather for the weathering, I've got to, I can go down a couple of routes, and that'll be I'll gloss coat the 
the tank and then I might try I've got some Windsor and Newton oils just a couple of three and I might uh, I might do that with them see how that works because I say it's all just an experiment really uh, and um, and then really the tank itself apart from there's no point weathering the you know putting any snow effects or anything like that on the the actual uh, tracks and wheels and stuff until obviously I've, I've worked out a diorama um, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit with a diorama I'm, I'm caught in a rock and hard place really because I'd get on with it but I particularly want the figures I want to know what figures I'm going to use where they're going to be if they're going to be on the ground or if they're going to be on the tank you know whatever uh, before I actually um, put the diorama together um, as I said I didn't want to show a knocked out tank because that gets done to death a bit so I, I just wanted to show a, a tank that's probably just whether it's overheated or you know whatever it's just but it's it's um it's just broken down and waiting for a bit of help before it trundles off on its way again so guys thank you very very much for taking a look at this trumpeter 1 in 72 T28 Soviet uh, late tank uh, from the early 40s so you take care of yourselves I hope everything's going well with your projects and we'll, we'll catch each other very soon on another video cheers